University of Finance and Economics. Uh, it's the top three finance and economics university in China. So every major city in China would have a finance and economics university. So you have Shanghai University of Finance and Economics, Sufi, you have, uh, you know, Fuda, uh, sorry, um, Beijing, Bufi, and so on and so on. So we have Dalian and Dufi. Um, in terms of undergraduate programs, what we have is international business management, four years program. Uh, and postgraduate, we have, again, international business management, two years program, and we have international trade and Chinese studies. So international trade and Chinese studies has a bit more focus on actually learning Mandarin as well. It's part of your program. You, have, you get Mandarin uh, classes uh, in sort of every program you do, but this one has more focus on that. This is where Dalian is located. So again, it's not, you know, it's not too far. It's northeast China. It's, it's, it's a bit of a different city from you know, either Beijing or Tianjin. Uh, this is how it looks like. It's a coastal city. It's one of the main tourist destinations for uh, domestic tourists, actually. Uh, total population of about 6.5 million. Uh, there's lots of foreigners, obviously, as anywhere else in China, increasingly. Uh, main industries are tourism, uh, so there's lots and lots of hotels. I mean, it's a very scenic area, so you have you know beaches, you have your mountains, and it's a very popular tourist destination. You have IT. Halian, Dalian has its high-tech park, so you get a lot of Japanese, Korean, and obviously Western companies as well, basing their operations from Northeast China. Uh, manufacturing, uh, you know, like any other city in China, really, if you're interested in that, you can do it. Uh, and also logistics, it's a major port. It's one of the, I think it's the main port actually in uh, northeast China. Uh, in terms of reputation, I mean, it, it's a huge um, university. It's about 20,000 students. Uh, what is different about this school from Nankai is obviously it's focused on finance and economics and related to business subjects. But also half of the teachers here are um, international. So at Nankai, all of the teachers are Chinese, apart from one couple. Uh, they obviously have international experience, and they studied abroad or worked abroad, uh, and you know they've graduated so from these great universities. But at Alien, um, about 50% uh, of staff, uh, faculty staff, are actually um, you know, from all over the world: uh, Turkey, Germany, UK, US, um, you name it. And as I mentioned, these are the programs that we do. So we do international business management, bachelor's and master's levels and trade and uh, Chinese studies at master's level. Uh, as one of our uh, graduates from last year, as a Russian guy, uh, did uh, international business management, now works as a manager at Jarpin.com. Um, it's a sort of major uh, search engine for uh, job seekers in China. Uh, again, prices. We also have English for university studies. So for students who don't get hit, um, IELTS level required, uh, we do a processional English, uh, probably not a problem for you, but you know, just in case. Uh, but again, the prices are uh, about 10 to 30 percent of the sort of general tuition fees. Any questions about this? Okay. So just quickly to wrap it up, you know, what do we really offer in terms of universities? I mean, we do work with top schools. Everything's in English. So, you know, if, if your Chinese is not up to level, you can study in Chinese. It's a good option to stay in China, continue learning your Chinese, uh, studying Chinese, and also getting a degree. Uh, all of our faculty staff is international experience. Uh, so, you know, if you're worried about teachers' English or something, I mean, I studied. And I studied in the UK before, and I had absolutely no problem with that. Uh, and our classroom is fully national, so we don't actually take Chinese students on our class. Uh, on our programs. All of our students are literally 100% are international. Uh, in terms of what Inter provides is world-class student services. Uh, we're renowned for that. Um, simple ad admission process. So, you know, you just fill an application, send it to us to, to about two weeks later, 10 days or so, we give you an answer of whether you need to supply some more documents or you know, get a conditional or unconditional offer. You know that. So the communication is very easy because all of our staff is international. Uh, Late application deadline. So for, for Nankai, our application deadline is actually um, uh, the last day of June for September intake. And for Dufi, the university I just talked about, it's uh, mid-August for September intake. So, you know, very late. Uh, but obviously, the sooner you apply, we have all of these incentives. If you're actually interested, then there's no reason to wait. 
uh, and we're affordable. In terms of other, you know, these are exciting cities to live in. Um, there are still developing, there's so, so many opportunities as well, um, that I talked about already. A lot of, in Dalian, for example, so many of our students do internships and hotels, and some of them are actually paid because in, in that city they can get paid. Um, obviously, great opportunities to learn Chinese, if, if, if that's something you want to do. You don't have to. Uh, Chinese is part of the program. There's modules in Chinese. By second year, they become optional. So, you know, if that's not your thing, then that's totally fine. If you want to learn, then great, you can do it. Uh, and simple visa process. I mean, you, you probably went through this already. Uh, you know, you have your visas. But Chinese visas are quite easy to get in relation to some other countries. Uh, especially for student visas, I mean, you just need an admissions letter. Uh, that's about it. And then you go to Embassy and pay. The more you pay, the sooner you get it. Yeah. So that's kind of it from me. I mean, just to sort of remind you of what we do today. Um, but I think, you know, if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Yes? Yeah, sorry, we were a little bit late because that's of fine. traffic. So yeah. just I want to know what is Intu? What Intu. is this? Okay. Yeah. So Intu is a private company that does partnerships with universities in US, UK, and China. Okay. And now what we do for these universities is we do their marketing. So, you know, we promote these universities. Uh, we also do admission services. So, you know... So you, you, are, uh, you are working for Intu, yeah? Yes. Okay. Well, essentially what we are, we are as an, sort of as an external international office for these universities. So we are, act as an international office only for our students. Mm -hmm. So admissions, you know, any application to us first, then we, we scan it, we give it to university, university give, gives it to us at a quicker pace because we scanned it already, mm -hmm. and then we give it to you. And we do student services, so we have offices on both campuses, mm -hmm. and then whatever you need, we're there for you. We organize events, masterclasses, sort of company visits, and so forth. And so forth. 